Hey guys, welcome to my new video and in this video, I will be giving you guys 20 things I wish I knew when I was silver. Before we jump in the video guys, make sure you join my Discord channel if you are not on my Discord channel yet. It's a very nice and friendly community, so if you guys have any questions or you want to talk, just come to my Discord channel. The link is in the description below. So now getting into the video, I have been in bronze all the way to challenger and when I was silver, I wish I had known all of those things before. Anyway, the first one we're going to be talking about is don't play with meta champions so let's make this clear for all of those people which are really low elo right now you are not a korean player that can play any champion and be really good yes in general it's a really good idea to start playing all of the meta champions because they do help you win more games but since the meta is always changing in every single patch, you cannot be a good player on every single champion that becomes meta in the game. Also, in the lower elos, meta champions don't really exist. You could technically play any champion in the game and you will be able to get out of your elo if you only play good. Now the next thing we will talk about is quit normals and play ranked only. Most of the people I know that are currently stuck in silver or gold or platinum elo right now, most of the time those people are only playing playing normal games. The reality is that normal games don't learn you anything at all. Even if you are playing as a diamond player in a normal game, they never play serious and the game doesn't feel like you're playing as a diamond at all. Pro players or high elo players are always playing ranked games only. And the good thing about it is that every game you play, everyone is the exact same elo over and over again. In normal games, the games are very inconsistent. You might be playing as a diamond top laner, but if you have a bronze jungle, the game doesn't feel real. Also, in ranked games, people are playing for a price, and the price is LP. If people play for a price, they play better in general than when they play normal games without even winning anything at all. So for improving, you want to be playing ranked only. Now for the next thing I wish I knew is, don't spectate older games to analyze, just lose the game and go next. When you have literally just lost the game, you know exactly why you lost that game. Why would you analyze a game that you have just played when you know exactly how you have lost that game? I don't know who ever told you to ever spectate one of your older games just to analyze your own gameplay. Because the reality is simple you have literally just lost the game and if you pay a little bit of attention to the game you already know why you have lost that game so don't waste time and just go to the next now for the next thing we have use the mute all command when you are playing in lower elo people never write anything useful at all in fact you could even drag the entire chat away from the screen and still win all of your games people in the lower elo only use the chat as a way to argue with other people so why would you not mute every Everybody at all. Now, as for number five, we have invest a lot of time just like any other pro player. Now, for some of the people, this is no problem at all. Some people out there have so much time they can literally play like 10 hours a day of league and use all of that time to improve to get better. But most of us normal people have lives, and some of you guys out there have a job or need to go to school. But the thing about League of Legends is that you need to invest a lot of time to get better. Just like everything else, the more time you spend into doing that the better you get and league of legends is no other thing now as for the next one we have respect your team and keep them playing so in the lower elos a lot of people have the mindset that when the game goes really bad they want to go afk in the game the thing is that you need to keep them playing the game and the best way to do that is try to stay as friendly as you can and keep them hyped to win the game if they say they want to give up you tell them no you're still playing the game and the game hasn't been lost yet always try to stay positive and bring your teammates back into the game. Now as for number 7 we have Don't argue or rage, it's all wasted energy. So first of all this will get you banned. Second you will be able to get muted. And third is that arguing or raging will get you nowhere. All of this time that you have put into arguing with other people or raging you could have put all of that time into thinking in the game what you could do in order to get back into the game. So don't waste your time on teammates, waste your time on actually playing the game. Now as for number 8 we have, you will never respect your elo even if you are challenger. Now as for myself, I have never been happy with my own elo. Even if I hit challenger tier, I still want to get higher and I still want to get better than all of the other remaining players. So if you are a silver player and you think that you're happy with a certain elo, you will never be because you always have the feeling that you want to get better. 
Now as for number 9, we have learn to get carried. Now this is something I have said in my older videos. You don't always have to be the hero to carry the game. If you have a very bad matchup but your team is winning really hard, why would you put so much effort into trying to win your lane if the team is already winning hard? Now as for the number 10, we have stick to the lane and play one champion. So this goes kinda back to the first thing we've been talking about, except what all of the high elo and the pro players do is that they always stick to the lane and they only play a few champions. Now this counts for almost every player in the high elo, except for those people that are playing in the LCS. The LCS players play with more champions than only a few champions, but they do still stick to only one lane. So in order to get better at League of Legends, stick only to one lane and try to improve. Now as for the next one, play with multiple accounts at the same time. So the idea here is to get multiple accounts in the exact same elo. Now the point of having multiple accounts is when you are really tilted on one of your accounts and you're dropping a tons of LP, you can then switch to your smurf account and you can try to continue climbing. This is something that a lot of the high elo players do. Now for number 12 we have use internet resources to get better at the game. So we are now living in season 9 at this game. And the thing is that there's now guides everywhere on the internet. Find tips and tricks how to get better at the game on YouTube as well as a ton of streamers on Twitch TV. Take that to your advantage because that's something we did not have in the older days. So as for number 13 we have create your own rune setup for an actual game. This is something a lot of the lower elos don't do. Most of the low elo players always go to the instant and steal runes from other people. The thing is that runes always have a lot of options and depending on the game you always need to take different runes. You cannot always have the exact same rune page in every single game. Try to learn how to change the runes depending on what you need for in the game. Your win ratio is gonna increase a lot if you take the time on how to do the runes. Now for tip number 14 we have climbing takes a lot of time. Those people that are smurfing in the lower elos they never really need that much time in order to get higher in the elo. But for those people that want to climb to a certain elo and they have never been there before, you need to improve in the game in order to get that elo that you want. Which translates to climbing takes a lot of time. Now for the number 15 we have watch the better players and replicate. When I was a silver player I always watched other streamers. And one of the streamers I used to watch back in the days was Best Riven NA. One way I have improved myself is simply by watching other streamers and trying to replicate what they do. Try to understand what they are doing and in that way you will be able to improve. This is one of the easiest ways in order to improve in the game, simply by replicating the other players and understanding what they are doing. Now as for number 16, don't play autopilot, play 80% tryhard. Now this is something that we all do in League of Legends. There has never been anybody which doesn't play autopilot. The thing is, when you are trying to improve in the game and when you want to climb in League of Legends, you need to realize when you are playing autopilot, which means you have to play 80 to 100% try hard. In other words, you need to know what you are doing and you have to plan everything ahead. When you are playing autopilot, you are not doing those things. So wake yourself up whenever you start to play autopilot. Now as for number 17 we have, don't make the same mistake twice. The biggest problem about people when they are playing a game is that if they are making a mistake, they don't actually learn from that mistake and they replicate that one again in the exact same game. So one example is you're getting caught in the game by some way and the worst situation possible, two minutes later you make the exact same mistake again and you get caught. Yes, mistakes do happen in the game but don't make the same mistake twice. Now for number 18 we have don't play for KDA. So let's be real here guys, this is not the game called Call of Duty, we're playing League of Legends here. If the team needs you, you need to go in. Don't be the guy to be scared for having a really bad KDA. This is not what League of Legends is about. This game is about destroying the Nexus, it's not about getting the best numbers in the game. For number 19 we have write summoner spells of the enemy team in the chat. This is something nobody does in silver. If you can tell your jungler that the enemy flash is down, you should communicate that with your jungler so he knows that the flash is down and he knows he can gank. It only takes literally one second to type down
down in the chat and this is also something that a lot of the higher elo players do now as for the last number we have leave the team fight if you are too low on health so if you got the option to go into a team fight with only 100 health as an example you might as well just leave the team fight and stay alive why would you risk a timer as well as giving gold away to the enemy team if you can simply leave the team fight and come back Anyways guys, this was it for the video. If you think this video was really helpful to you, don't forget to subscribe and like. Also, don't forget to join my Discord channel guys. If you got any questions, you can ask them down in the comments right below guys. Thank you so much for watching the video man. I'll see you guys in my next video man. Peace.